everyone, this is Becca from Becca's Music Room. I'm a music teacher who talks about teacher tips, teacher life, teacher doors, and all things that might hopefully make your life just a little bit easier. Today we're going to be talking about something for back to school. Um, you can see from my tropical shirt that even though it's August, my brain's not quite back to school, um, but that's okay. And today we're going to talk about how to make your own letters for bulletin boards. If you find this video helpful at all, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share so other people can find it and learn more as well. All right, so I don't know how it is at your school, but at my school for bulletin boards, they have to be switched like every month or so. I usually go for like five weeks, but I am always, always frustrated. I hate bulletin boards. Like I really hate them. Um, so this year actually I've decided that I am doing all of my bulletin boards on the computer, printing them out, laminating them, and that way at the end of the year I will have like a whole set of bulletin boards and it'll make life so much easier. Um, but in the meantime, we are still trying to get some things together. Now, when it comes to bulletin boards, you always have to have, you know, like your title. And I sometimes will do, you know, words and like cut around them, but I just don't feel like it looks the best. I prefer when the letters are actually cut out. And we do have the Allison Press at my school, which is, you know, the big things with the like stencils and you, yeah. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then just whatever. Um, but it cuts out the letters, but for some reason we are actually missing some of the letters. So I can never find all the letters that I need, which is very, very, very frustrating because you can't like just put your stuff up there spelled wrong because that's ridiculous. Um, so it's just always been a huge hassle for me to try to get the letters on the bulletin board. Lo and behold, I found a way that you can actually make your own bulletin board letters that you can cut out without a Cricut, just using PowerPoint. And I'm going to share that with you right now. Now there's three different ways I'm going to show you. So one is where you have a black outline on a blank inside. The second is going to be black outline on a colored inside. And then the third is going to actually be putting a picture into your letters. If you would prefer to just get some that I've already done for you, I am going to be posting probably before this comes out, um, some letters with a map theme decor that will go along with my map theme decor bundle and then also some music letters that I'm actually going to provide both of those for free so if you want either of those then click down below and you can check those out otherwise you can watch the video and see how to do this hey guys so today we're going to talk about different ways to make bulletin board letters so if you have like a Cricut that is fabulous but I do not and we have like an Ellison press at my school which is one of those things that like cuts the shapes out but we're missing letters in like every set so I have taken to doing this instead. It's very, very simple, very, very easy, and you can adjust it many different ways. So the first thing I do is open up a PowerPoint document. Always, always, always do PowerPoint. Don't use Word, like ever. Um, and then go to page setup. I just always make it letter paper size to make my life easier. It doesn't really matter if it's portrait or landscape, just depends on what you want. Then I'm going to add in a text box, make it nice and big, and pick a font. You're gonna wanna pick something really big, like maybe this one or this one or something like that would be really great, like thick so that you can really tell and then you can write whatever. I'm just gonna make like an A. Make it ginormous. So then I'm going to highlight that, come to the colors and go to text effects. And the first thing we're going to do is make the text, give it an outline once it stops spinning. Okay, so these are all the different text effects. There's lots of stuff that you can do. So the first thing we're going to do is do an outline and make the outside the inside white. So I'm going to come here to text line, go, I'm just going to do black and then you can pick how thick you want it. And also if you want it to be like dashed, that doesn't help you with bulletin boards, but 
Yeah, so we'll do that. And then text fill, I'm gonna go to no fill. And look at that, now I have an empty one. So you can use this and you can print on colored paper, but if you are like me and you have HP Insta ink and so colored ink does not scare you, seriously y'all, like one of the best purchases I have ever made, I am so thankful for it, then you could fill it with any color that you want. So you could do purple. So it's filled in on the inside with an outline. You can also, in there, oop, nope, come on. You can also do some other things. For example, you can fill with a picture or texture. So here are lots of different textures. This can be really great, like if you're talking about the water cycle, you can do like the water droplets, that is super fun. Um, and then you can also fill with a picture, so you can literally make it anything that you want. This is like one of my favorite things ever, not gonna lie. Oh, and there's patterns as well. So you could do you know, whatever. You can change the colors. Ah, look at that. Super fun. All right, and now last one, we're gonna make it with a picture. So I'm gonna click choose picture. And then you can go to whatever. I'm gonna come here and look for downloads. Downloads it is. And I have all the things, um, something that would work well here. Colorful sheet music, that's what we want. Let's go green. Insert, okay. And there you go. And you can get rid of the line if you would like. I like to leave the line and I make the line super thick that way when I'm cutting, it's really easy to cut around it. But this is how I make pretty much all of my bulletin board letters. Sometimes I do just put like words across the page and I'll put that up, but most of the time, this is where it at. it's at. I actually really like this green. I'll have to use this sometimes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will help you out. If you found this helpful, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share and have a wonderful week.